Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're gonna be talking about customization, which is coming to Rivals finally. And I think this was something that was bound to happen because of course EA, they wanna make money just like every other gaming company. And if you can cash in on skins and vanity items like emojis, if people are willing to buy them, hey, why not? Um, and to be honest, I actually wanted to see this come out because I think the skins are a really cool idea. It also adds a little bit of flavor to the game because, you know, there's a point in the game where it can get a bit bland and stale and may seem re repetitive. But with skins, hey, you can, you know, show off these cool looking units on the battlefield. You get to collect skins if that's what you're all about. You know, I know people that play League of Legends, StarCraft, whatever, those other games, they, they love buying skins. They love collecting skins. And, you know, if you want to spend money on them, hey, that's all on you. Uh, and I personally wouldn't be blaming the company for doing this because like every well-known company um, that has massive multiplayer games have some type of skins nowadays because this is another way to make the game fair while making money because of course skins and emojis have no effect, have no overall impact on the unit stats. Well, hopefully not. I'm going to read the whole article with you guys right here and you know, hopefully it's just all for visuals. But I really like this idea um, and I'm not really sure what the response is from the player base but I think most of us would be okay with this that's what I'm assuming I could be wrong but let's take a look at this article here so uh, we're getting four new skins right here attack bike look at this gold plated chrome like look at the Wolverine as well the Titan is got it's like bluish green Rockworm has a bit of a violet in it like I like that flavor I like the color it spices the game up it makes the units look so much more cooler. Um, it says the Wolverine attack bikes you'll have to purchase from the store for diamonds. Um, Titan and the Rockworm will be from an event. So that's good. They're not making everything for, you know, money, right? It looks like some skins, you can just get them from events like the Titan and the Rockworm. So hey, look, if you're free to play, there you go. And even if you're free to play, you can collect diamonds and eventually, you know, buy the attack bike and Wolverine as long as it doesn't cost 10,000 diamonds per skin. So we'll have to take a look at the cost as well. And here we go, the explosions. As a player, it's satisfying when the enemy's base explodes, bringing you one step closer to victory. Soon you'll be able to customize your missile explosions with our new explosions, which changes the missile explosion effect. That is really cool. I actually didn't expect the explosions at all. Um, and like, wow, look at all these cool little... Uh, explosions here i'm sure they'll all cost diamonds but i guess when you win or when you're when the missile hits the base you're gonna see this like you know chicken or salt shaker come out like this is this is really cool guys like i don't care if it even if it, even if it costs diamonds look as long as the price is fair right it's as long as it's not ten thousand diamonds per explosion like i am totally okay with this um and then there's some videos here that shows emotes uh, commander emotes can be used during battle say GG okay so this stuff you know if you want to like kind of chat in the game I don't know if you have time to do all the emote stuff because you're gonna be so busy tapping your screen like moving all your units around I don't know if you have the time to say GG but maybe at the end of the game vanity items can be purchased through a new vanity tab of the store uh, we'll be alternating which vanity items are sold in the store so not all of them may be available immediately Wow, okay, so there's gonna be a new section for customization. All vanity items are found in customizations tab on your player profile. You'll be, you'll have to select your unit skins or explosions before they can be used in battle, of course. You can select the unit skin and explosion directly from the customization tab, and you can customize your you know unit or explosion. Okay, so that's pretty much what it is. So there you go, that's how it would kind of look like. There's like that gold plated card that you can equip your attack bikes with. Um, commander emotes are available immediately to use in battle tap the bubble under your name to bring up the emote menu okay so you can tap the screen like i mean if you have once again man if you have time to talk or taunt or you know call the other guy out you know go ahead and do that but that's that's really cool that you get to have these emotes um, now the commander emotes i don't know if it should cost diamonds this is the only part where i think maybe it should be free because like just being able to communicate with your opponent i think that that would actually add more um interaction right with your other with the other player like i don't know about what you guys think about this but 
I personally think the emotes or like chatting like in game like that system should be there because like every other RTS game does have that you do have the ability to talk to your opponent if you have the time and you want to chat it out you know while the game goes but you know this game is pretty fast paced it is much faster paced than Age of Empires, Starcraft, whatever right so I don't know if you'll have too many times so it's just like a button to to emote but I'm not sure if emotes should be you know costing a whole lot of diamonds but anyways there you can see like a picture of like some old school command and conquer general um and yeah it's pretty cool uh but i think the character emote should be based on the commander you're using i'm not sure why Oxana is a man you know <laughs> i think that should be Oxana. i think every commander should have its own like angry emote frustrated emote whatever right um but anyways that's my opinion on it so there you go we're excited to introduce vanity items in update 1.5 hope you enjoy them this is only the beginning and we plan to add more ways to customize your army in the future we would love to get your thoughts and feedback on discord blah 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 all right uh, so it seems like a whole bunch of new vanity stuff is being added but once again the emotes i feel like are the only part that should be completely free because it really adds that um you know interaction right like you want like this game what this game is really missing is like that interaction with other players um and it's not only just like being able to talk to other opponents and whatnot but they're you know the the alliance system for example is still pretty stale right you don't really do anything with your alliance you join one you donate troops you request troops okay great you build your army but what are you going to use them on there's no alliance wars so there's like not much like you know community interaction there's not much player to player interaction in this game that's really what it's missing and i think you know giving this kind of stuff out you know for free may you know increase the player base and we know that the command and conquer rivals community is not not huge you know it, it's i think it, i don't think it's like dead i don't think it's like super small but like it could definitely use a boost in the growth right because we definitely could de definitely have more players they're having a lot of players that tried out the game and then they said it was boring and they quit or you know they complain it's paid to win or whatever right but i think being able to have more more multiplayer stuff more stuff more more stuff that will keep players engaged is like should be free right so like explosions and skin unit skins that stuff doesn't have to be free because that's completely understandable you know like if you want the gold plated attack bikes you should definitely pay for some for uh, some diamonds for that because that's like you're you're dressing up your attack bike uh you know that 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 into gold right so uh but you know like being able to talk to other players and stuff like that should just be like standard like i love these emote ideas uh, but like i just think it should be free now i don't know if it's gonna be free but i i don't think it will be free right just knowing ea and you know this company right they want to charge players for everything obviously right they want to make money uh, and then my other complaint about these emotes is that i'm not sure if this is like the final version but like i really don't like that random old school command and conquer general avatar like you know being the character for exana like exana is a woman she's a she's a hot lady okay it shouldn't be some old guy you know rubbing his palms on his face it should be Xana. you know it should be her face you know that looks frustrated not this guy you know like so that that's the, the that's the one you know like critique i have about these emoji pictures i think the developers could actually use the legit commanders you know i want to see colonel jackson you know getting pissed off i want to see like you know dr liang you know saying gg and stuff like that you know i don't want to see these like i don't i don't even know this guy for for people like me who haven't like played every single like command and conquer game like we're not gonna know this guy it just looks like a generic commander so like i might be going like way off tangent on this but like like we'll have to see what happens when all of this stuff comes out but i'm really glad to see all this vanity stuff come out so overall i have to you know give ea a pat on the back um i know like this stuff is gonna cost money so you know there's gonna be a lot of people like saying oh this is stupid right like why why do why, why do we have to pay money for skins and stuff like that but like you look at every other popular game 
you know, League of Legends and stuff like that. They all have skins and they all cost money. They're not free. Some of them are free. There are some free skins here. We saw like the Titan and the Rockworm. So, hey, there you go. You can get it from the event. I'm sure it's going to be like a launch event kind of thing. But, you know, I'd love to see a lot of skins in this game because that may keep more players engaged, right? Because all the units look, look the same and they kind of look stale. Now, aside from this, I could see one other maybe like a problem that could happen possibly i don't think this will be a problem because all the units will still look the same just with a different color right but like if a color is like so different you know maybe the unit will look like substantially like not like the wolverine or the attack bike but i don't think that will be a problem because they're really just changing the color unless they're gonna like start you know adding like legit accessories to these units that's gonna make them like drastically dif look different but i think changing the color is completely fine and the units should be all recognizable on the battlefield so you should know like which unit you're facing against so i don't really have any problems with this stuff this is really cool the explosions are really cool whenever the missile hits the base something comes up man that is super cool um because you know you get to like kind of taunt your opponent you know kind of like rub them in the face you know I, I would love to use this chicken one you know and, and i hope these explosions like make a sound you know like the chicken makes like a chicken sound the laughing skull makes a laughing sound like you know that would be hilarious right like because that that would be really cool to see thanks for watching this video guys i know it's just me talking here but hopefully this was an interesting insight from my point of view let me know what you guys think in the comments below as you guys know i really do enjoy um reading your guys's comments i do read every single of your guys's comments so please go ahead leave a thumbs up let me know what you guys think about my thoughts and let me know what you guys think about this new patch and i'll see you guys next time